What's up, Survivalist? Optimum FN here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome back to DDS2. Oh yeah, bud. We're back here with another quick guide for you. In today's quick guide, we will be going over how to get and make cocaine. If you guys have missed any of my previous videos, I'll link a card up in the top corner. Make sure to go and check them out. If this is your first time visiting the channel, consider subscribing for more content. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough for your continued support. All right, so we are down here in Del Mar, south of Sangrienta, Sangrienta, however you want to say it. But uh, we're in Del Mar here. We got a couple quests that we got to do. Go to City Hall, go and meet the priest. So we're going to get these dialogues going here so we can unlock uh, this quest line for the cocaine here. Yeah? Need anything? Yeah, Benita sent us. We're cool. Yes, I yes, Benita you mentioned you. Toilet. We'll stop by. We could work things out for a percentage of the sales. How about that? Awesome. What is it this time? Yeah, we need a quest well, tagline. What do you need? Nothing. No cocaine. All right, so let's see here. Got to go to uh, City Hall here. And talk to this guy over here about some stuff. The old town official. Can I get a pass to the capital here? Uh, to apply for a time pass, you have to be a registered resident, res <laughs> resident, resident here in Del Mar. All right. You can apply for the time pass only when you own an apartment or a house in Del Mar. Great, thanks. So we've unlocked that dialogue. Sweet. I already have a house down here. I have a little cottage over here, over here where the Colonel was at. Uh, pretty cheap. It's the cheapest one in the area. So let's check out this message here. Yo, get this. I found us a contact inside the big city. My man will clue you in when you visit. Before you do that though, you might want to consider adding cocaine to the Heard some rumors about coke being cooked in Port Town, but you'll need to dig deeper. Go there and ask around. Maybe you'll find something. All right, thanks for the information, Billy. So, ask around for a source of cocaine here in the city. You can ask a few people. Welcome back. As our what new tag dialogue. Know? I've heard some rumors. There's a lab in the jungle. All right. What's your question? Anything else you can help us out with? No. All right. So let's head down here. Let's ask this lady if she knows anything about. Oh, hello there. Came back to buy something. What cocaine. Do you want? I know where to ask. All right. That's all. Hello. Now, what do you need? Then there's a couple more shops down here on the south end uh, or the north end of Del Mar. So over here at the clothing store, oh, see hello, what this guy has to say about want cocaine. Know? I know someone who can help you. I've only heard of a guy, Marco. He was recently arrested for cookies. Okay, cookie coke. All right. So we got find Marco. Rumor has it Marco worked in a jungle coke lab. Find him in the prison camp and obtain more information. And then explore the topic of cocaine to learn more recipes and expand your distribution. And then we got the search the jungle to find hidden coke lab. So we got this jungle area and then we got the prison down here which Marco's gonna be in. So we're gonna head off that way. So we're down here on the south end of Del Mar here, straight across from the uh, little place that you can buy right there. You wanna head up this hill and run into the camp here. This is the easiest way I've seen to get down in here. Might take a little damage. We're gonna run down these rocks. Try and take as little damage as we can. And then we're gonna run over here to where Marco is located over here inside this housing area inside the uh, prison camp here. So he should be right here in the corner. Oh, Marco Polo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one and only. Can you uh, cook some Coke? Ah. Sure thing. I used to cook uh, on a daily basis in the jungle lab with my buddies. 
but what's your uh, deal? I want to support you and your buddies. You know how it is. I'm sure they uh, rot in some hole since I'm still here. They were supposed to buy me out. Okay, I'll find them and uh, make sure they get you out of here. I've heard about you. Have you now? All right. Fantastic. Thank you so bye much. Bye. See you later, Marco. All right, so now that we have found Marco, talked about his buddies who just left him to rot in there, uh, we are going to head back out of here. Now, uh, you can talk to the guard or the guy that wants the cigarettes over there uh, to purchase a way out for 75000 However, if you just jump up these rocks here and come on. You can get back out of the prison. So now we're going to head over to the lab over here and find it and talk to uh, Marco's buddies here. So we made it over here outside the lab here. We're just going to run up here and duck down with C. And we can get into the drug lab here and talk to Luca here. Hey. Yeah, Marco sent me. Tu sabes como es. Yeah. Not so great waiting for you to uh, buy him out. You know how it is. That's not easy, you know. Uh, you have the militia on your backs. Fantastic. Are you still selling? Déjame pensar. Okay. Not enough. Okay. Craving some snow? How can I help? Que opinas? I can sell you the lab for four million dollars. I need claro, to think about it. Por mí está bien. Good idea. All right, so we need a four million dollars here to buy this drug lab, and uh, we're gonna go get that and come on back. So we've made it back with the four million. Let's talk to Luca here. Okay. Let's talk about Thank our offer. Man. Price includes our lab, also the equipment ingredients we have. Fantastic, four million dollars sounds good. Hey, estamos bien. Hey, uh, we got some employees here. We have the Coke lab. We have unlocked the cocaine recipe. Let's go ahead and look at our recipe here. So we have our mixing, soaking, thermal treatment, and drying. So for the mixing, you have your bucket, barrel, mixer, magnetic stirrer, soaking, you have your soaking vat and your lavatory soaker. The thermal treatment, you have the stove, pressure cooker, autoclave, bath, and then drying process, the drying rack, the large drying table, and then the laboratory tray and dryer. So let's get set up here with all this equipment and uh, we'll get into it. So with the cocaine lab, we have a few items that are already here. You have the laboratory tray, you have a couple large drying tables, and then you have some barrels, some beds, and some stuff here. Now, if we look inside the hideout stash, we do have some leaves that come with this base. Um, you also have high security and visibility, but I'm going to grab a few items that we're going to need, and I'm going to head to one of my other hideouts, and we're going to look at how to make uh, these cocaine items. All right, guys, we're back at our hideout here. Now, this is a four-stage process, so let's get into it here. You're going to start with uh, mixing. You're going to start with a bucket if you choose. Uh, it is a 10% loss at 30 seconds of 1.1 grams to get your fertilizer. Or you can go to the barrel, again, 10% uh, percent loss with your fertilizer water to get your, your liquid fertilizer. Uh, 25 seconds, 1.1 loss. And then you can go to a mixer. Uh, once you level them up at the shops, they're like 16 grand uh, to get this. But you also have the option to do synthetic as well with water to get that. And that's 20 seconds at a three gram loss with 1500 power. The best option is gonna be your stir, obviously with 550 power, 11 seconds, one gram. Uh, so your fertilizer water and then your liquid fertilizer. And then with your synthetic, it's 15 seconds with three grams on that. So that is that process. Then you're gonna move over to the soaking. So you can use the homemade soaking vat 15 seconds, 10 gram loss, and then, sorry, 20 seconds, 10 gram loss with your coca leaves, your liquid fertilizer, gasoline, and then you're gonna get your soft coca leaves uh, at two grams. 
Or you could go with the laboratory soaking vat with one leaf, two grams, 10 grams of gas, and you're gonna get two grams. However, you're gonna use power. It's quicker to produce and you get 10 gram louse on both. So after the second process, then you're gonna move over to your treatment. Now you can use a pressure cooker, uh, but I have opted out of that and I have the autoclave here. So you have two options, two paste that you can get with the cocaine paste. You can take your three grams of soft leaves, four grams of soda, and you're gonna get two grams of uh, cocaine paste at a four gram loss and 15 seconds of 1400 power. Or you can go with the cheaper option, 1400, 12 seconds, two grams. So two grams, two grams, and you're gonna get two grams back. So I don't know why there's a two gram loss. Not sure if that's a glitch or not, but just comes down to, do you have ammonia or do you have soda uh, for that process on that stage? And then once you reach the fourth stage and final stage, uh, you're gonna go into the, your dryer. I think this is your best option uh, for your dryer. It's 1200 power. 10 seconds, one gram loss, and you're gonna take your one gram paste and one, and you're gonna get one gram of cocaine. Again, I don't know why you're losing a gram if it's one to one, not sure on that. So to recap for you guys on the four stage process of cocaine production here for you guys in Drug Dealer Simulator 2, it's gonna be your mixing, soaking, thermal treatment, and then drying. I like to use the stir, the laboratory soaking vat, the water bath and then the laboratory tray dryer those are going to get you your best uh, results without uh, suffering too much loss uh, if you have four million dollars to get this recipe then you probably already have some money in the bank however if you're tapped out because of the four million dollars you can go into the cheaper uh, parts just to get into cocaine all right so now that we've gone over the four stages of making cocaine what's going to happen if you guys run out of coca leaves uh, there is a tech and knowledge over here meet the cocaine leave distributor so we're going to head over that way and uh, see what he has to offer all right guys so we are over here on the beach northwest of the jungle over here by the coca leaves distributor uh, i did purchase this cottage here because there is a boat ramp right here uh, that you can dock your boat and just uh, drive your boat over to here unfortunately there's no parking spots here so you are going to have to park up at diego's and then run down and then take your boat over if you ever need leaves. But this is where the guy is located, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Yeah. Lucas you sent me. Say. Yeah. How is he? All right, all right. Cool. So we have found a way to obtain the coca leaves. They, <laughs> they are expensive, so uh, one of these is $700. If you were to buy all of them, that's uh, seven hundred thousand dollars. So well, this guy it. can get expensive, Goodbye. but uh, that's where and how you get the leaves to uh, start producing more and more cocaine and get that stuff out here to the island. But that's gonna wrap up this quick cocaine guide for you guys. Hopefully, you guys found this guide informative. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the cocaine process. Uh, also, if you felt this guide was informative, hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see ya!